I'm not gonna kill her. But if you don't kill this mad woman, everyone in St. Paul could die. You have a gift that no one else possesses. It's your duty to use it. The people need your help. Not my problem. Look, I'm gonna take the Palo resin back to St. Paul, save Great Bob, and get the fuck back to New York. Done and done. You know, countless people will suffer and die because of Prague, don't you? Are you really gonna abandon them at their most vulnerable? <laughs> yes, I see. Like mother, like daughter. Oh shit. You, that's true. Oh shit. I... No, no, no. Fine. Fine. Let's be on our way then, shall we? I Come like on, this let's guy. Go back to uh, back to support with you. I know it just seems That's like some, want, isn't it? Some odd couple yeah. relationship, like Kaine and Vice, but no, there's something deeper there. It's just the that fuck? it takes time for it to come no out. Problem. Unfortunately, <laughs> I hope they have more of that. I think they should have had more of those moments, where it really touches upon the thing that Frey cares about the most, the thing that hurts her the most. And Kaine and Vice's relationship, yeah, at times it did that. And maybe we were just more forgiving because we like their character designs. But the relationship between the Cuff and Frey is absolutely more than just a bunch of small little quips. Not what I was expecting. And I, I suspect you want to tell the Isekai thing is once again getting in the way because a lot of their relationship was kind of built on top of that but once you get past that and he's able to see deep into so what really bothers her is a that's the juicy bits i'm the child of cinta how do I yeah, absolutely. Do I, absolutely. The they should focus That's on the highlights of Frey's character and her relationship with her mother and being abandoned as a child. Because I know that tends to be a kind of a trope for, you know, the, the down, out of her luck orphan that was abandoned. But it works very well here. And it was only during those moments, those very sparse moments up until this point, where the game touched upon your relationship with your mother being abandoned and then also Cuff being the one that can kind of read your thoughts or read your past. He knows about that and he knows exactly the right buttons to push. It seems like the beating heart of all of this game so far has been Frey's abandonment issues. And it makes so much sense why, because she was abandoned as a child, she got into a rough and tough crowd, she has the relationship with Auden and with Olivia and with the kids that she does. And the most endearing moments with the cuff and also with um, Rob is all relating to parent and child relationships. And that might be true. It might end up being that our final boss here is our mother. Frey is an empathetic character on a technical level because of the way that she's grown up, the fact that she's been abandoned, she's gotten into all this trouble as a result of it, she doesn't feel like she has any way out, but it seems like the execution of such an empathetic character is not 100% there. Again, the pacing issues, but also, if they had removed the isekai element and made it about phrase abandonment issues, and that might be masking it too, the isekai premise element might be masking what is truly at the heart of this story and Frey's character, which is her relationship with being abandoned by her parents, most especially her mother. Those scenes where Cuff is finally, he's finally touching on that thing that gives her the deepest pain and the greatest fear. That's when I think the story truly shines and Frey's character truly shines. And unfortunately it doesn't happen very often, but when it happened, I just thought, oh man, why didn't you give us this sooner? You padded it with a bunch of this isekai stuff and all of Frey's relationships and her dialogue, everything is almost based entirely on breaking this fourth wall of me being the outsider. Well, Aloy was an outsider in Horizon and that absolutely 
could work here as well if Frey were part of this world, but also an outsider. And, you know, that's the angle you want to take. And I saw that. I saw glimpses of it right there. And it was really good when it happened. It's just unfortunate you don't see it very often. And I'm, what am I, like 12, 13, 14 something hours into the game, which is way too late for something like that, something that important. Like, I imagine that if that were the beating heart of the story, sort of like how the beating heart of God of War is the relationship between Atreus and Kratos. Kratos teaches Atreus how to be a god. Atreus teaches Kratos how to be human. I just wish that they had done that sooner, done that more often, and made that the unifying theme of everything that happened. As opposed to just throwing out a bunch of really cool looking things and then, oh, lo and behold, 14 hours into the game, you finally get to the thing that actually matters. And that was the same thing, actually, with Final Fantasy XV. The beating heart of that story wasn't necessarily the brotherhood, the brothers, you know, the, the brotherhood friendship that Noctis had with his three homies, but it was really his relationship with his father and his relationship with the throne of, um, the throne of Lucius the responsibility that he feels like he's supposed to uphold but is not able to build real relationships because his relationship with his father was all built off of duty and responsibility. So that was kind of like the beating heart of Final Fantasy XV for me. And it seems like it's finally doing that for Frey and all the events that led up to this point all of a sudden make sense now. Are you all right? I've got a lot on my mind. Still can't stop thinking about what Prof said. None of this makes sense. My mother, who happens to be a powerful sorceress, left me by the side of the road in another dimension. Well, I can't pretend to understand the motives of the mad. I will say there was plenty of trouble brewing between the Tantas at the time. They were already well along the road to ruin. It's just so messed up. Perhaps if we were to find her, she might help you understand it all. No, fuck that. There is no way I want to meet her. Understandable. I suppose. Right, and it loops around because what you're saying is that it's technically an Isekai game, but if it's true that Frey is Tanta Sinta's daughter, she really is from this world. It was just framed as an Isekai kind of game. I really think they should have just dumped the Isekai element altogether. It makes for some witticisms and it makes for some snappy, you know, jokes that can come off kind of cringe. But I don't think it's worth it. I don't think the pacing issues this game suffered in the initial parts of the game, and the, the so many other things that, that feel like are slowed down as a result of it, it's really not worth it to keep it in there when you could have just made her, as you're saying right now, she is native to this world. The whole child mother abandonment issue could still work and her relationship with cuff can still work and her discovering the madness of the tantas can still work it can all still work uh yes it was gary Witta that i think wrote the scenario for this but i'm sure someone had some kind of a final say i think it was a mistake the isekai element was absolutely a mistake without it i think everything would have worked so much better. We would have gotten to this point so much faster if it weren't for that. You know, it's weird that God of War, the trailer actually sold you sort of on that beating heart. The very first thing you saw in the trailer or even the first elements of gameplay we saw at E3 2015 was Kratos being a father to Atreus. And I feel like that could have been All such an amazing powers selling yeah, point for this game this in the trailer well, we which they did out? not do and i understand why they didn't do it they didn't do it because they wanted to leave that as like a twist you know like oh shoot you thought you were the average new yorker and it turns out you're, you're this crazy sorceress's child that she abandoned on the to some other dimension somewhere and now you're back discovering your roots and rediscovering the mother that abandoned you